raspberries and eat it. Nice work. You okay? Yeah, a little back pain. Oh. Oh, it's just. I do now. That's why I asked if you were okay. I saw you reaching for yourself and now getting it. Okay, let's stream, everyone. Woo! I know, I'm excited too. Well, Which, you know, you'll see why. You. You'll see why very soon. I'm excited to stream. Ooh, exciting. Is there some sort of excitement happening? Yes. Uh, All right, let's do this. Hello, coffee. Bonsoir. No, I haven't played the new DBD event. What is it? Blood Moon. That sounds fun. Oh, you haven't played it yet. Wow. All right. Oh, well, there's got an update queued. Blood Moon event. Cup Rev, Scarlet Depth. Ba -ba 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 -ba. The next two weeks. Ooh. I'm going to assume it involves werewolves. Well, the, oh, no. No? You have to collect droplets and deposit them into blood basins. Yep. Okay. All right, once you have one in position, you'll create a blood zone, various locations. Okay. Kill, your lunge attack duration is longer, but your blade wipe animation is extended. Once you paint it, oh, okay, cute. All right, blood zones. Oh, I know. Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, I was They were kind enough to send me a copy of the new Contra game, so we're going to load that the F up. Woo! I know, there's a new Contra game. Will it be the first new good Contra game in years? Let's find out together. Hey, Fox, what's up? How you doing? Gotcha. So wait, is the Huntress not officially a werewolf? Oh, it's from Way Forward. It's going to be good. So anyway, Way Forward makes... Um, they're the best at Metroidvanias, is a nice way to say it. They made the mummy game I love, but they also made uh, Shantae. And that Shantae game... Oh my god, it's opening with a reference to Metal Gear Solid. Oh, Woo! that's so nice. Yeah, it's not complicated. For chop! So why didn't you like that game? Because everything you listen to sounds like it should. So you get halfway through the game, and it's impossible to figure out what you're supposed to do next. Yeah, it's the worst thing in the world. It's so unbelievably frustrating. Like the game becomes suddenly unplayable. I despise elated. Welcome, Sad Fox. We're glad to have you. Alright. So I can buy. Ooh. That's a woman involving a ring of cash. Double chomps. Alright, let's 
do it. equip it? It was unclear. It's the Galuga Archipelago. I don't know what that is. But it's a place where alien spaceships are crash. Oh no! We're gonna get it. I don't know, a cube? Maybe it's a space cube? Definitely a space cube. It will cause you no end of heartache. A space cube. Let's review the mission details. As you know, a terrorist Red group Falcon. called Red Falcon has been carrying out limited strikes around the globe. At the end of the game, it turns out they're We've confirmed aliens. reports they've There's set up shop on the main aliens. island of Galuga, following the meteor event earlier this year. The Federation immediately dispatched the GX Army, as they were in the vicinity for military exercises. They seemed to be making headway until three days ago, when we lost contact. Oh, no. You're kidding. Gen 10 is the strongest unit in the Federation Army. No way some fringe upstarts took him out. That's a good point. While it's still unconfirmed, we should assume the worst. Apparently, the Red Falcon are more powerful than we realized. Speaking of which, our science division has some troubling intel of their own. The Federation's interstellar satellite network detected a gravity anomaly. I hate Something on Earth emitting gravity waves strong enough to circle the planet. Their source coordinates align squarely on the Galuga Archipelago. This gives us reason to suspect the Red Falcon are developing gravity weapons. Gravity weapons. The Federation banned them decades ago. I did not hear... Oh yeah, I saw that! Where, um... That's right, Lance. Hmm. We can't Mono's risk destructive power of that, that magnitude cool. falling into the wrong hands. My I'm weapons division at Henriksen Industries confirms those readings are consistent oh, nice. with the components of a gravity bomb. Of alien, of Even just storing that thing improperly could cause tectonic shifts, climate disturbances, or worst case... Bill, Lance, given the situation, I think it's clear why the Federation enlisted our EMC Contra unit. Your primary objective is to engage Red Falcon ground forces, confirm the source of those gravity waves, and disarm it. Okay, I'll work on that. If at all possible, locate the GX Army and report back with their current status. There's a Red Falcon stronghold not far from your drop. Infiltrate the base and apprehend their lieutenant. His field intel will help determine our next move. A remote hideout missing super like soldiers in a doomsday a weapon. To be a hunter, she's the villain. Hell of a Friday. Waka Waka. Time to introduce ourselves. Hell yeah, brother. Hopefully at some point they're going to tell me how to play this game. I would really appreciate that. Bah, apparently they're too fancy to have a tutorial. All right. Take a moment to practice movement, there. jumping, and is shooting. It possible they did that really fun thing? Doyle tells me all Contras can jump a second time in midair or dash horizontally. <laughs> Simply incredible. Nice. You can aim with more precision by holding down aim lock. Yes! Spread shot. 
I thought that bridge was gonna explode. It famously exploded in the original. Oh. Okay. Oh, Star Spring. We've accessed Spring. the weapon delivery network and we'll be sending frequent supply drops. Shoot a weapon pod to release its cargo. Experiment with a variety of weapon types. Flamethrower! There's supposed to be a laser cannon. Whoa! And it's in here. Okay, how do I swap weapons? Hey! Sidekick. He's arrived to help out. Rocket, nice. Our chopper's taking enemy fire. It's going down. That does make sense, Copy. Whoa! Well, that looks dangerous. That's strike one. It's all three by my count. You can hold a primary and secondary weapon. Swap between them strategically. Alright, how do I do that? Oh, okay. So you want a big damage close range weapon and a long range weapon to deal with uh, far off dudes. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh, right. Yeah. I was holding down the uh, button. I am very much pro transformer because of my youth. You know. And they're more than a lot. That's the other reason. Duck under the water and use the audio. Enjoying the island so far? Oh, well, well. If it's not the GX Army's mascot. Hey, Stan. If the EMC was gonna stick its nose in this operation, they could have at least have sent a small off. Your lucky day then. Listen, too. <laughs> I suppose so. At any rate, stay alert. These oh. guys aren't messing around. You alone? Oh, I like that weapon he's got. Can I get me one of I those? I lost contact while running advanced recon. Probably signal jammers or something. I'm not worried. So, you see this hanging from stuff thing? That is I'll such an touch. iconic and Just integral part of the hot, franchise. That one of the most I famous moments in a Contra game is Contra 3, the, the Alien you two focus on in which the enemy there's takes. a level where you have to Understood. spend the entire boss fight hanging off of missiles and leaping from missile to missile. It is <laughs> magnificent. Reach the enemy base. The enemy base! Oh! So I have a month away from having I'm so proud of you. And I'm like, is this the last time I'm going to play? Nope. And then I found out they're shutting the new house for like the second guest. People are still playing the battle. Oh no! There's a second base! This is all stuff straight out of the original, by the way.
please. This is fantastic. It's like three original Contra level bosses in one. Uh oh. Whoa! That looked amazing. I'm fine already having a little Okay, I will deal with that. Give me one second. All right, we're back. Please tell us if that is better. Yeah, you all just got to give us a heads up and we'll Although deal with Coffee it. Although Coffee did, and I thought you should turn I already it. had. Wow. That's how loud the game is. Damn. Well, this is just awesome. Obviously on alert, but we haven't seen anything unexpected. Apologies, Commander. We should discuss this hopper at once. Finally, words. Yeah, we should. How'd they get a missile past our sensor? That's it exactly. It wasn't a missile. What? What? Whatever it was, our scans indicate organic matter. <gasps> oh no. Aliens. It means aliens. I'm ready if y'all are. Resume the mission. Locate Red Falcon's lieutenant for questioning. We'll update when we know more. Over and out. No, my sidekick is Duke Nukem. So will it have the running down the hallway sequences? There was a third-person shooter sequence in the original Contra, and I don't know if they're going to include it. Oh. Um, oh, no! I actually haven't seen Transformers Armada, so I would have to check it out. I've heard others say that. Oh, and yes, weird. I'm not a huge fan of Starscream, which how did you know that? Although he's a fun villain to hate. Oh yeah, that dude's the worst. Oh whoops. And okay, yes, I do have kind of like a little bit of anger about Starscream because Everyone that's does. the Transformers I got one Christmas. Oh no. And I was like, this? No, I wanted Bumblebee. Most people did. Bumblebee's awesome. He has had the best Transformers movie. There I said it. Nope. Best Transformers I mean, movie, just about Bumblebee. The only Live Bumblebee action, I had obviously. was probably, I think it was technically a GoBot. It was not an official Transformers, but Shell gas stations had a thing where they had these I had one of plastic those. Transformers. Yeah. I still have the Bumblebees over there somewhere. Yeah, there was a, uh, yeah, I also had a couple of the gas station GoBots, yeah. one of which was a Volkswagen Bug, because yeah. I guess you couldn't copyright a Volkswagen Bug mm -hmm. transforming. They knew what they were doing. Yep. Oh. oh, I mentioned it in one of the older streams. I did not know I had told that story before. That's hilarious. I don't know who Windblade is. These guys are terrorists, man. These other guys were brainwashed or something. Yeah, I also don't. And I was like, is this one of those things where my brain's just not working? Or. Oops, no, I'm not those socks. I'm not those socks. Yeah, you look looking cute. You can be off this island. Please. Have you heard training? Yeah, I think I unlocked a new character. Do you want those boots? Yeah, I got those boots. Do you want a hat? Do you want a hat? Okay. Oh. I hear you, Coffee. Just get out of here. Uh oh. Oh no, he got shot. Thanks for the help. I gotta get out of here. No, this one will be back too. Yes, please. Oh, you don't like it. What about this one? Okay. Oh no, my laser! Oh no, I kept my laser. Good. No! That's not fair. You have to do attack to be able to hurt me. You can't just touch me. Although I guess he did uh, technically do a weird jumping attack thing. Alright, here we go. 
That sounds awesome on a bridge. Yep. Oh. This might have been a mistake. Oh! The machine gun uh, super attack is a shield. That's kind of awesome. All right, we got this. Whoa! I don't think so, pally boy. Yeah, these homing weapons are pretty great. Hi, buddy. What was that? What? Me saying hi to one of No. Them? Yours was... Yours is and wa <gasps> was and is. Is and was? Is, was, and is always you seeing something cute on screen. Am I correct? Yeah, I'm saying hi to my neighbors. Ah. What? Whoa, okay. Ran into a spiked wall. That's not good. You know, there actually was a... Uh, a monster that... Not ow, that dissimilar to this in the original game. Like a, uh, a vehicle with a spiked, uh, whoa, that was awesome. With a spiked grill. Oh, come on. Whoa. Hey, I gotta say, getting that uh, double jump was probably a good choice. Oh, that was just cute. Wow, that is savage. Oh no! Unfortunately, there's no way to lock your uh, aim in one direction. What? I am so super curious about that comic book unabridged. What? No! Oh, I got him. Oh, that worked out nicely. Huh. You won't get much information out of him now. That does sound good. No, they got me, everybody. I thought the level was over, so I looked away for a second. That was a mistake. It was foolish of me to assume the level would be over just because I had killed the boss. It's Rodeo! Hi, Rodeo. So what is Rodeo's deal? He's that guy. He likes working out. Oh, right, the bowl. But he talks to... He's not really a workout guy. He's more of a... Um, a yeah. bug guy. He likes to talk to the bugs in his house. Oh, that's cute. He's cute. I like him. He often wears black. When I first met him, he was really dour, but he's actually since gotten very friendly. Fun fact the only personality type that male villagers can't have is normal. Which I answered correctly on a trivia quiz by just thinking about all the male village, male you Animal knew. Crossing yeah. characters I had encountered. That's how I found out, and I'm like, that made me so happy. Yeah, Animal Crossing's message, men can't be normal. Like, yeah, that's fair. Whoa! It's a pretty good weapon. Oh, please do. What? Damn, this guy's not messing around. Samson! Hi, buddy! Or Sherry, sorry, Sherry, Sherry. Come on, please explode. I liked homing, but I think I prefer spread shot. Because you can get close to dudes and do shotgun damage to them. Whoa. And it's, you know, got unusually long range. I mean, I love homing, but it does not seem to do a lot of damage. A 
That said, I'm very excited to see what this flame super weapon is, so let's do that. Oh, it's a flame shield going in a certain direction. That's kind of a disappointment, actually. Man, I really screwed up by using that. Just let the screen get entirely covered in enemies. You little so-and-so. Okay, Snake. You get a good night's sleep. Oh, Lieutenant's back! Whoa, nice trick. What? Well, that. Oh, no! I jumped into it on the way back because I didn't see where hey, it was aiming. Snake. Oh, Snake showed up to say hi and bye. Yep. Bye bye! Some people get tired. I don't blame them. I don't blame you either. The world is a tiring and hey, exhausting place. We have place. some regulars that show up to the stream just to, you know, fall asleep. That's true. It could happen. Which I appreciate. Whoa, he's throwing dudes at me? Not cool, Daddy O. No, I did not want a machine gun. Well, shit, I gotta buy that. What'd you find, woman? Giant teddy bear. Nice. Okay. I'll buy it. What the hell are those things? Oh, those are my guys. Okay, I got real confused I'm there. I'm creeped out the, the, by the fact that I can buy an IV pool. That is very creepy. Well, that's a uh, mutant golem who is desperate to murder me. Mutant golems being, of course, objectively the worst kind of golem. I love that he throws these bikes at me. He's on fire, that's good. Oh, he's done, okay. Woo! It does not work, Cyberfox. Yes, please do on a bridge. We're here, my dear. Sounds like Rex Falcon is using YouTube only wants people to visit their site and nothing else. Mm -hmm. They're kind of jerks. That's generous praise. If anyone at HQ has suggestions, I'm not above asking for help. Yay. We'll begin analyzing the data. There's another facility north of your current location. Just past the local village. This data suggests it's a laboratory. A laboratory? Interesting. There's Samson. Hi, buddy. Officially, they evacuated after the meteor shower, but we already know that report is less than accurate. So, the facility is. Heads up. I'm accessing security footage of an unknown operator. You boys on to love. Ooh. All right, that went pretty well. So how do I earn more credits? Oh. Mm. Probotector. Ooh, invulnerability after respawn. Begin the stage with I'm equipped. Increase player lives globally, nice. Oh, one extra hit point, yes please. Going to see my bestie. You can level up weapons? Okay, I'm excited to dig further into this one. We're That's stopping this for now, but yeah, Way Forward did it again. They delivered a Contra game that is fully modern, but feels like the original Contra. Anyway, Way Forward is historically just the best at this sort of thing. And they constantly amaze me with their abilities.
Next up, we have a little game called Stunt Paradise. I don't remember what the stunt game is called. Look, it's a game about doing awesome stunts. Can we just leave it at that and pretend I knew what the title was? Yes, we talked about Akira Toriyama the other day. We were... Yes, very sad. Very, very sad. Aww. As if you, as if there's anywhere you can't spend Republic credits. Are you kidding me? I don't go on a limb here and say I think that, uh, I think that flying anti-Semitic stereotype is uh, just a jerk. Mm -hmm. That's what was being quoted. Oh. It's still no public credit. It is called Stunt Paradise. That Republic credits mean nothing. Ah. Um, yeah. On Tatooine. Yes. Now I know what you're talking about. Hey, other bestie. <sighs> yes. So. Alone in the dark. Solid. But, uh... You know, not impressive or innovative. Ooh. The way the last, uh... Major Alone in the Dark was. My beloved Alone in the Dark Inferno. I'm not saying it's a perfect game. I'm saying it's approximately a perfect game. Is the shooting perfect? By no means. And the uh, use the thumbstick to swing your weapon was weird, but actually worked pretty well. I can't believe Akira Toriyama didn't live long enough for his new game to come out. Yeah. I'm so excited about the new game. When does it come out? End of April. So like five, six weeks from now. Wow. Yeah. It's called Sand World. His first original game since Blue Dragon. You might be wondering, why am I here on Cozy Grove? And there's a simple answer for that. Because the game was installing, which gives me an, an opportunity to go and hug Jeremy Gruffle. Anyway, Jeremy Gruffle's my hero. <laughs> it's Ken! Oof, unabridged. Terrible. So, we're starting Stunt Paradise, which is a Ukrainian game about doing stunt paradising. You might be wondering, what is stunt paradising? Good question, I'm going to show you. Tragically, it's not burnout paradising. So how many cars are there? A solid number of cars. Have I played this exact kind of game more than once? Yes. Yes. Quite a few times, actually. So the question is, how good do the maps feel? You're going to have to ask unabridged about that one. Drive forward, drive backwards, tilt. Okay. I don't know how you cause a car to tilt. But I'm not here to worry about that kind of thing. What? Oh, I love that nonsense. Oh, okay. I rammed a cop car. So I immediately feel like I'm a more valuable person. What? Oh, 
Okay, well, it's uh, automatic. It already topped most games in this genre just by audaciousness. I'm going to call this something. I'm switching the camera out. Go. Fast and the Furiousness. Oof. Come on, you saw that no last Fast and the Furious you. movie. I did. The movie where the scene oh, nice. I'm referring to was in the trailer. Yeah. And I laughed so hard and said, we have to see this movie. Hey, Conchanted, what's up? Hey, Ooh. Ken. What? See, and that is the secret of why I'm enjoying this game so far. It understands the need for, uh, the game understands the need for audaciousness, which so many of these games don't get. Just constant nonsense happening. Like, for example, a plane, a plane destroying the bridge you were I about to you, go across. I told you, Fast and the Furiousness, look at the car yeah. you're driving. Oh, absolutely. No! Nice. nice can. Chicken nuggies are some of the best. It's another train. This is one of my besties and Amelia's missing. What? She are you kidding? Somewhere on the island. What? Oh, there's bonus points for doing stunts and flips. I didn't know. This has just. Fantastic cool. presentation, am I right? Yeah, it looks great. It it's reminds just, me of something else you've played. I've played so many oh, games no, like this. It, it reminds me of just the way it's like presented in the artwork and even like the, the screens and stuff. It reminds me of a bike racing game. A bike yeah, you're thinking game. of Trials. Yeah, that's what it, it reminds me of that yeah, a lot. It's, it's trying to be Trials except with crazy stunt driving yeah. presentation instead of dirt bikes. With non uh, sorry, uh, BMX bikes with just nonsense happening constantly. What? Oh, this is crazy. And I'm not going to stop calling it the Fast and the Furious game. Because this is ridiculous. No, that's fair. This is the kind of shit that happens See? in Fast and the Furious games. Oh, the Fast and the Furious wish this is something that would happen well, in yes. it. Well, yes. They might as well. Yes, they might as well. But they don't. Because they're cowards. What is happening? What? Oh no! That was a mistake. Sorry. I did the wrong thing. Boop! There we go. Back flip. Front flip. There we go. This is so crazy. It is like a Sonic Adventure. Yeah. Except not as many flashing lights and nonsense shaky stuff. I'm angry at Sonic games. Yeah, Sonic games are real bad for that. Sonic games hurt my brain. All right, here we go. Oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever seen. That's right, I've gone to Egypt. To deal with pendulums. And knock over obelisks. To turn them into ramps. Take that, 4,000 years of history. Uh-oh, that's a wrecking ball. What? So I don't get extra points for doing tricks. Or coins. That's weird. Not a complaint, just an observation. What is happening? No. And then I knocked oh the nose God, off the Sphinx. That's hilarious. Yeah, these guys are just delivering nonsense. Whoa, that was close. Yeah. Although apparently I had to study Sonic for a quiz I did uh, last year. And apparently Sonic 06 had the craziest story in the world? Like, so much crazier than all that uh, Black Doom, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog nonsense. Yeah, that was crazy. 
What? Oh no, I covered up the star. A buzzsaw! Yeah. That was the sense I got while I was studying for the quiz. A quiz I won, by the way. Well, no. It came in second. But only by two points. So, moral victory? Yes, we've discovered our trivia team does really well when there's less of us there. Yep. Well, specific members of us there. Ouch. Well, no, I'm just saying we have... Boom! You specifically have a bigger breadth of... Knowledge stuff. in this stuff, yes. Uh, most of our team was not there this week, and we won by a weirdly large number yeah. of points. Well, uh, and it was also, about Fortnite. It's because, yeah, it's because they gave us a map of Fortnite locations, which is not a map we had looked at. Nope. And titles of like the locations, but we what? were able, and we had to like figure out which like the pictures of those locations and close up which they were on the map, and also which titles they were. Which we were basically able to get all of them right. Yep. By one, being able to read a map and figure out which location was which by, you know, building cues and two, just, you know, logic our way to the names. It was pretty awesome. We're like, well, that was in the middle of a field, so that's gotta be the one called Whatever Fields. Careful. What? It was super fun. It really was. No! Remaking 06? Oh my god. What I want is more Sonic... Uh, what do you call it? I want more Sonic Unleashed. I want more Where Sonic. Which should actually be Sonic Wolf. Because, of course, the were in the word werewolf means man. So technically a were-sonic would be a sonic man. But that is not how people use that word anymore. Yeah. That would Donuts! Actually be, that take that, that cops! Shit. That's right, this whole level is about escaping from cops. Nice. And just clowning on cops. Boom! <laughs> oh my god, you're being chased by a helicopter. Yep, just oh. non-stop cops and helicopters. I mean, the physics of this kind of break my brain a little bit, but... Boom! Already caught this statue. Well, that's fair, Conchanti. No one could argue with your priorities. Oh, seriously? That's, that's amazing. nice. Look, I only care about Big the Cat. I'm a fan of Big the Cat. That's all I'll say about that. He loves to fish. He's got a best friend who's a frog. His fr best friend escapes, and he's got to help him get home by fishing for him in different levels. It's unbelievably cute. Some people are like, oh, we like Amy Rose. Or we like... Uh, I don't remember the name of the chameleon. Steve the Chameleon, which is not the character's name, by the way. What? What? Oh, no! Oh, 100%. I am a very much Big the Cat core. There's no question. I love that guy. Yeah. 100%. Just a chill cutie. That is what oh, I God, aspire to be every day. Oh, unabridged. Oh, Ghost of Tsushima. I really enjoy that game. Yeah, he really liked it. Careful. Based on a famous, let's face it, Incredibly racist uh, misreading of history designed by fascists to uh, promote militarism in Japan uh, to justify their various colonial occupations. What? That was insane. I was like, I don't understand what's about to happen. Aren't you just going to crash? 
They really are. I, I enjoyed Unleashed. I'm not going to pretend I didn't. I hate generic Sonic gameplay. I know, I shouldn't, but I do. So when Sonic really mixed it up with Unleashed, I ended up having a surprisingly good time. People made jokes about the Werehog, but, you know, I kind of, you know, had a fun time. Although, your screensaver on your phone is, uh... From Sonic Adventure. From Sonic Adventure. And tell them all what your screensaver okay, so, is. Okay, uh, so, here's a fun thing about the game Sonic Adventure. So, uh, anybody here know Sonic Adventure really well? This is, a uh, this is not a rhetorical question. Does anybody here know Sonic, uh, Adventure really well? I know what you're about to talk about. Yes. Careful. So, the idea here is to get just high enough. Which one is Rayman Legends? Is that the one that was a launch title for the, uh, uh, for the Wii U? Nope. I love, if that's the one you're thinking of, that, I love that So, one. all right. So you remember Sonic Adventure 1, okay. Okay, uh, we adored the Wii U one. We considered the music sequences, where you have to hit all of the notes in a row to play a song, to be like some of the most fun we had playing video no, games that you year. you liked the music sequences. You found I them did. too challenging, yes. yes. But you gotta admit, watching me play them was the best thing in the world. Fun. Yeah. Right, I so. love that. I like the plunger what? gun. I actually have the plunger gun, you guys. I bought the plunger gun accessory yep. for my Wiimote. She loved raving rabbits. We've got the plunger accessory for those wonderful shooting sequences. Yes. Then they ruined it in the sequel by, yeah. like, making the, the levels be levels? real cities that they awkwardly photoshopped the rabbits into. It was into. so it was, creepy it was and bad. weird and off-putting, and I hated every minute of it. So anyway. Also, they seem to just have destroyed the gameplay. Like, it was just Yeah, awful. it was real bad. No! Yeah, the rabbits are their minions. Alright, so, here's the point. Uh, careful. What I was getting at, so laboriously, and thank you for your patience, is... Careful, what? Uh, so, in the game Sonic Adventure, there's a sequence where you have to go to a casino. And in that casino... Uh, when you go through, the, in order to find one of the, I don't know, emeralds or chows or whatever under the casino, you get dropped uh, through the drain of a casino and you land, because you're knocking Sonic around, you land in an actual sewer. Right? You go down the drain quite literally, because uh, it's called a drain in a pinball game. You go down the drain quite literally and you end up in an actual sewer. So, when you finish that sequence... And you escape the sewer and you get whatever it is you had to get in there. I don't remember. You come out the other side. And you land in the shower room. And because Sonic just got out of a sewer, he takes a shower. Totally reasonable. Okay? Here's where it uh, gets weird. And by the way, so my lock screen, if you turn on my phone, is Sonic taking a shower. In the game sequence. So if you watch the end credits of the game, they show you various scenes from the game. Big the Cats, Frog, Jumping Away, for example. Omega-3, I don't know, uh, absolutely wrecking another robot. Just different sequences from the game. But, and this is where it gets weird. For reasons that I can't explain, one of the moments they decide to show you, right is Sonic taking a shower after getting out of the sewer. Weird enough that that's one of the scenes they picked. But here's the thing. When you originally played that sequence and Sonic was getting out of the shower, you were, the camera angle was pretty close to Sonic. And Sonic appeared to be alone. But in the ending credits of the game, the camera has been pulled back and Tails is watching Sonic shower. And so if you look at my phone, the pic the main picture on my phone 
is Sonic taking a shower. And if you un unlock it and look at the backdrop of my phone, it is the second picture, Tails watching Sonic shower. That's a true fact. Which I just is told you. like the weirdest thing ever, and he's so enamored by it, he had to make it his How his could I not? Dream. How could I justify not making that my backdrop? I don't hate reality. Yeah, I'm such a fan. I'm such a huge fan of that Raymond hmm. game. I've played others, and I'm not, like, I, they were disappointing. And like I said, the first Rabbids game that was, like, at the, because everybody enjoyed that function in that Raymond game. Yeah. The shooting of the Rabbids. Raving Rabbids was the first one. Yeah, Raving Rabbids. Loved that one, and the subsequent one was awful. Yeah. Rabbids World Tour, or whatever yes. they called it. But, like, love those. Yeah, I have the plunger gun. What? Okay, did I wait till it was, like, on sale for, like, three bucks? Yes. Yeah, we paid five dollars for our plunger gun, and we thought, yeah, that's fair. Ooh. It's actually really fun to use, too. It is normal to say the pinball machine would be my backdrop, <laughs> because that's backdrop shaped. A sane person might have answered that way, but no. I needed something. What? Much crazier to be my backdrop. Oh no, the cops are back! And now I'm drafting on a car carrier that has lowered down its bed so I can ramp off of it to escape another roadblock and jump over a helicopter. That's amazing. What am I watching? Oh my god, oncoming traffic? And then I landed on a container ship, which is where the finish line is. This game is crazy. I'm enjoying it. It, it is really impressive how crazy they have made this game. <laughs> All right, let's do it. And it is seriously a creepy picture of Tails watching oh, yeah. Sonic shower. Like, it's, it's actually creepy. Back to Egypt. Oh, no, wait. Careful. Okay, that's fantastic. That is... Okay, I don't know how to go back and get that star. Weird. Alright, not gonna worry about it. Um, yeah, that is... That is very good... Uh, that is a very good backdrop. Careful... Okay, that's actually amazing. Kaboom! Okay, what if the whole world went nuts? Is the... What only this game has the guts to ask. Well, that was awesome. Level 10. Complete the level. Alright, we made it to the volcano lava level. Which also introduces spinning car grinders. Oh my god, a volcanic eruption. We're gonna have to deal with a volcano for the rest of the level. And for the camera to go absolutely nuts. Like, however nuts you thought this game's camera was going up until this point, they have quadrupled that. Oh my god! No, I have no idea how many levels there are. Let's, let's go check. Actually, no, let's beat this one, then we'll go check. I don't know how I was supposed to get around that. Was I supposed to go faster or was I supposed to let those pass before I drove? But yeah, these these are developers who understand spectacle. Like why is alone in the dark? 
uh, Inferno, the only game that lets you drive a car through an ex like an exploding city at high speed. Why isn't every game about driving a car through an exploding city at the high speed to the point where... Actually, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. At one point in the game, this is true, a building falls over in front of you and you have to drive through one of the floors of the building. That's fantastic. Anyway, the point is Alone in the Dark Inferno is an amazing game. And uh, only cowards would criticize it. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Alright, so. Checked on everyone. I went and tried to buy art. Failed to catch any bugs because I suck at catching bugs. Was no. too impatient. Now, I just have to go to the. Uh, there we go, I just had to do it faster. Whoa! So if there's anything new, I have to find. Oh, wait, who is that? Oh, I already talked to you. We got lava bombs constantly hitting us. A la a little movie called Dante's Peak. I love that movie. As well you should. It was amazing. Okay, don't know what I did wrong there. It's been a week and a bit for me since I logged in. <gasps> You should check out your island. I'm sure they miss you. And I feel bad when I haven't checked in on them in a while. I completely get I'm that. still trying to get all the art. Whereas, I got my own Jeremy Gruffle plush, so I never feel like Jeremy Gruffle's missing me. Oh, weird. There's nothing special for Easter to buy. At least not yet. Oh, very nice, unabridged. I don't think it's a good Booyah. movie. Booyah. I just love that movie. Like, it's... I, I acknowledge it's not a good movie. But it's better than the other Volcano movie that came out the same year, I want to That say. movie was called Volcano. Volcano. And it starred Tommy Lee Jones. And it's the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen. Yep. And Anne I believe Anne Hesh. Come on! It's about a volcano yes. erupting in Los Angeles. Yep. Yeah. Did you know there's a volcano under LA? Yeah, no one else did either. Careful. So that happened. Ah. <laughs> uh. Wait. How can I have gotten 11 100 point achievements? Don't Xbox games just have a thousand achievement points to offer? I'm so confused. What is happening? Okay, this game has officially gone nuts. <laughs> I actually kind of like that movie. Joe vs. Oh, yeah. Volcano. Joe Volcano vs. Volcano is great. Love that movie. Such a weird... And like the everybody... first Meg Ryan Tom Hanks movie. That's not what it is. Yes, it is. I'm gonna look that up after I change that. Please do. I feel like you're wrong. I very well could be. Boom. Uh oh. That's a ballista. Why is there a ballista here? I'm not saying that uh, video games are a more valid art form than... Uh, what? <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, than uh, movies. But the, be the biggest spectacles in the last two um, Fast and the Furious movies... We're just the director recreating scenes from video games. Uh, just Cause 3 in uh, Fast 9 and uh, Rocket League in Fast 10. Called Fast X, just FYI. Okay. Whew. I was 
see I'm pretending like I'm a spender. So I need to understand how the trophies for this game... Apparently this game has 2,000 trophy points? How is that allowed? I don't understand how that's allowed. Anyway, the point is, we're going back to our garage. This game is a delight. Oh, that shark was amazing. Alright, so, uh, let's see what different... I have 14,000 space bucks. Let's see what I can afford. Uh, obviously I'm going to buy the Destiny. Thank you. I assume it doesn't play any differently than the rest. I think there might just be 20 levels and there's one trophy for each. And there's no special trophy for getting, like, the star on the level, so it's entirely up to you if you want to do it. Oh my god, the shark tried to eat me and a ballista oh, killed him. Bitch. That was so fantastic. What's going on, oh, woman? Oh, Rooney showed up at my house. You Ready sick of this Rooney bed. character? Oh, he never leaves. I see. Cannot take a hint. And he's my least favorite of my island. Damn. Well, I suggest you learn to love Rooney and don't do that thing where you start being mean to him to get him to leave. I can't bring myself to do it. Right, That's what I'm saying, no. If I was going to make him leave, I would have made him leave right now. <gasps> Is it happening? Nope, I missed it. Didn't go quite fast enough. Look up this Joe versus the volcano concept while Rooney wanders around my house and Please sits do. on my floor and reads comic books while I wait for him to freaking leave. So can Seriously, he's playing comic? He's reading comic books? Yes, he totally does that. I'm a big fan of this guy now. <laughs> Hanging out and reading comic books. You're like, dude, dude, get out of my house. That's fair enough. Uh, although they started doing something new when they show up at my house. Oh, that's terrible, Enchanted. What? Who would build that? My god, I'm racing a train. Of course. Oh, I see. Open your house inventory for a little bit and then close it. He might leave. Good to know. Is this train going to chase me? Yep. Oh my god! We're literally doing Back to the Future. That's so fantastic. I used the train. Uh, train pushed me off of a bridge. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. Yeah, this game is delightful. Oh. Way to go, guys. You got spectacle better than most people I'm familiar with. It is spectacle acular. Alright, I'll let you wander around my house now. Alright. Come, Come talk to me. Speaking of games, Anne's stream was kind enough to send me a uh, code for their experience where you go to play retro games. They specifically wanted to show off, I believe it's called Mr. Tough. It anyway, we're going to see. It is before Sleepless in Seattle. Yeah, I Why know. Why in my brain was it after? I can't tell you that. That is so bizarre. It's called Mr. Tough. Oh, I should probably play Tough Enough as well. All right. So this is called Mr. Tough. And the interesting thing about Mr. Tough is it was an SNES game that was fully made, like completed, but was never released for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Yep, it's the streaming arcade. Hmm. And they're promoting the fact that they got the rights to put up this game. Why is my icon a goggle-headed weirdo? Well, that was embarrassing. Well, they don't really get mad when you when you don't log in for a month, KN. They, they, or at least, I don't know that I've ever gone a month. I think I, the maximum I've gone is three weeks. But 
They, they seem really disappointed in the guilt trip you, which is worse than them being mad. Yeah, that guilt tripping seems pretty emotionally manipulative to me. Yes, I've learned that uh, trick oh, happened. No. Oh, that trick can. Maybe I shouldn't. Ow, oh, the snail got me, everybody. It's just a weird smash two targets. I have. I did finally figure out that trick to like open your inventory and then they might go away. Sometimes if you walk to another room, they'll also go away. But some, I, and this has only happened to me recently. And by the way, this is after 10 months of play. Yeah. They've all started asking for house tours. Just like looking around your house? Yeah. So I have to bring them through all the rooms and show them everything. Oh, it's no. so strange. Careful. Some real decap attack vibes going off here. Not the specific gameplay, Hi, but the kind of game when it is. When is the next Dark Pictures video coming? You need your fix. I, did I uh, see one posted today? No, something oh. else posted today. Okay. Uh, yeah, it should be later this week. Really? Thank you for asking. Oh, wait, is it Thursday? Today's Wednesday. Wednesday, yes. Then probably on Friday you're going to be getting a new Dark Pictures video. Which is, you know, later this week, so you were totally I was right. correct. Why does this look familiar? It shouldn't. It has a visual style very similar to uh, our beloved Eurojank NES games. I just know that guy with the red mitts looks familiar. Oh, okay. So you said this was made for something and never released? Yes, for the Super Nintendo system. Hey, Horror King, what's up? Is it possible pirated versions got out there? I have no idea. Maybe that's how I saw it from a certain friend of mine that's a huge Super Nintendo fan. It's possible. That has shown up on the channel from time to time. Hello, friend, if you're here. Hey, Horror King. Oh, the walls are the targets. I didn't get that. That was a mistake. Oh, I'll turn this down. The sound from Dead Air Channel. I believe you. Did I just get better gloves? Oh, I also got killed. That was embarrassing. Let's see if I can get that better gloves again. One nice thing about uh, their game system is that you can save in progress, but they don't have a rewind button. And I think that's because we're streaming the game, not uh, actually playing it on our system, which is too bad. I very much uh, love rewind buttons. All right. Whoa, you little so-and-so. I think any retro emulator program that wants me to, you know, buy it, had better have a rewind feature. Save states aren't yeah. good enough. I can get save states on literally any emulator ever made. But rewind buttons? That's the, that's the cat's pajamas. And this is something I also think, like, hey, Nintendo, you want to keep releasing games that, really that we bought on previous systems? Because they're my favorite games and, like, letting me play them. Like, update them so you can do stuff that emulators let you do. Yep. Like, the only way I was able to finish... I'm trying to think of which game. Which Mario. Which Mario did I famously finish only on an emulator? Was it two or I three? Didn't... No, three I finished. Oh, no, of course three you finished. Three I finished. Might have been two. Might have been two with wart and dreamland might have been one actually no it was one. Oh, it was one i had never finished one yes because you like a lot of people got lost in that uh there's that one level in mario where you have to like i'm trying to hurry up but the jump has stopped working my jump button has stopped working everybody i feel like that's something the qa would have taken care of had this game ever actually gotten to nintendo that's a little joke. Oh, that's so nice, Travis. I really Thank appreciate you. that, Travis. And yes, uh, we are not pulling back from uh, coverage at all. Also, you can expect some Until Dawn coverage now because we're getting <laughs> uh, super excited about the uh, upcoming movie and remake. 
So it's both dark pictures and you're going to see a lot of Until Dawn stuff. I gotta say, this has got very, uh, extremely varied levels because we went from, uh, I don't know why everything just exploded, uh, from a fantasy castle to a, uh, sorry, to a factory where they were making, uh, toys that all tried to kill me. Now we're in a basement fighting cockroaches and skateboarders cool i'm a little unclear on what this game's theme is gameplay's solid though i played like i played the chester cheetah games they're worse than this like 100 percent. this deserved to be released over a chester cheetah game oh my god i'm inside a oh my god i'm inside a wrecking ball I don't know how to use the wrecking ball though. And I can't damage the enemies. Was I supposed to hit the Yeah, I hear you, Conchanted. We're all very frustrated about that. Waiting on that trailer. That we absolutely deserve. Right now I'm using a flamethrower, which is honestly pretty awesome as well. Yeah, I don't know why there was a destroy everything on the screen button. I'm not unhappy about it. Quite the opposite. But it is weird. Also, I have a new punch ability? Now I have a swinging punch instead of a jabbing punch? This game is all over the map. You go, Mr. Tough. I want to know what's going on in 8020. I want some clues that I can start making theories about. Delicious theories. Okay. All right, so. Oh, I'm supposed to swing the controller back and forth to swing the wrecking ball. So by slowing down, the momentum carries it forward. Yeah, the game was not clear about that at all. In fact, it's really hard to use. No! Oh my god, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> nice. Well, I have a further... Uh, a further curator theory on the way. So get ready to be excited. However weird my existing curator theories are... This one is going to blow the rest of them ow, uh, out of the water. How can there be any more theories? Good question. I have to watch the video to find out. Yes. I don't think I'm hurting him. I think they have given me too many letters for the high score screen. By like a lot. I guess we'll find out. Okay, that is cute. It's legit very interesting. So, but uh, while Mr. Tough is a fun exclusive, it's not what I was excited about getting back into this game. All right. I don't know what a fist bump is. Oh, you mean the emoji. Uh, oh, wow. So the game has challenges, which you do to try and win coins. So here's a game I was always bad at. It's called Burger King. It's about a man who's trapped in hell forever making burgers. 
Oh, burgers. Yes, that was the joke. It wasn't a funny joke. Some people would argue that, technically speaking, it was not a joke at all. No, I missed! Come on, yes! Take that, you filthy sausages. It is the story of a hamburger chef who is trapped in hell, being chased by the very foods that he had spent his life uh, chopping up and feeding to people. It is a very disturbing world, the world of Burger King. I remember this one. As well you should. You can pepper guys to get them to stop attacking you. And an interesting thing about uh, what you can do in this game is manipulate guys into going into a given direction. Because once they've committed going into a direction, they can't turn around until they get to the next area. I don't know why those guys went up. It was a weird choice on their part. Come on! We're out of here. Did I just crush it? Yeah, I did. Go for it, Horror King. So this allows you to manipulate them into going into a specific direction you want, so you can murder a ton of them at once. And much like the uh, situation in the game, no, 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 no. Uh, the game Pac-Man. Well, that really worked. Uh, where enemies will delay briefly and then come back. It does give you a marketed advantage, marked, marked advantage over them to do so. All right, careful. Oh, good coffee. Nope, no, no, they got me. Oh. Okay, I used too much pepper, but I did delay them and briefly not die. We are now level two because, as you can see, there are two burgers on screen. Okay. I've never liked Kool-Aid. As well you shouldn't. No, they got me. Loved Tang. Never liked Kool-Aid. Anytime someone served me Kool-Aid. Effectively, yes, unabridged. I was disappointed it wasn't Fang. Oh, tang. I got a gold medal. Nice. Got my first gold challenge medal. Oh, wow. I doubled the challenge score. Way to go. Yay. Yeah, yeah pretty happy about it, actually. Mine, too. You earned one gold medal in a challenge. Yay. Good for you, boo. All right. She's being sarcastic. I'm really is... not. I'm being genuine. I, I don't know that you are. Oh. Uh, challenges. So here's the challenge menu. And as you can see, there is a weekly medal leaderboard. I'm being sarcastic or not. And I don't think it works, because it says the weekly medal leaderboard ends in seven hours. And I have zero points, as does everyone else. So I think this just doesn't function yet. Which, you know, it's tough. I get it. Art of getting a high score. So, this is Art of Fighting. Don't know if you're familiar with this game. Oh, you have to play as uh, Ryo Sakazaki. I uh, legit do not remember how to play this game at all. This is familiar too. Oh, it's Art of Fighting, which was, I believe, I mean, not only was it their answer to, um, you know, uh, uh, Street Fighter, obviously. But it might have been the first game where Neo Geo showed off that it could uh, zoom sprites in and out. Which was a pretty huge technological advantage they had over Street Fighter. Whoa, dude. I know, right? Ah, well, I've never been uh, a big fan of... Uh, Kool-Aid myself. Whoa! I don't know how to do special moves in this game, which I think is putting me at a big, uh... disadvantage 
as opposed to Robert. Uh, that was the other thing. Oh, there we go. It was a, it was a full roll towards him. And uh, one of the nice things about this game was that um, characters could get, their models could get damaged over the course of a fight. Which you've just seen happen to me. With horrific bruises and blood streaming down my sh temples. Yeah, the shadows flickering is not great. They've accurately recreated what it originally looked like in the... So. And as you can see, you have an energy bar that you can uh you can i don't remember if i get the energy back but you can drain the enemy's energy bar by taunting them leaving them unable to do special moves make it one of the few games where like uh it was really effective to taunt enemies oh i don't think so maybe i just like hold down a button to charge up it is that is what it was so instead of daunting, this game is taunting? Oof. That was really rough. But I appreciate it. I thought it was fun. It was. No! Did I just win by timeout? Yes, I did. But yes, this was definitely a beloved game of my childhood. Not great, by any means. It seems my Kyoku Genryu was too much for you. Let's go from there to the park. Southtown Park, you say, where we will fight. Ooh, you're so feminine. I like it. Ha 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 ha! I didn't come here to listen to your pickup lines, eunuch. That's King. Game is taking a weird turn. Uh, featuring King. The first uh, prominent trans man in the history of video games? Yes. Really? Yep. It'd be great if that move worked even once. It won't, though. Oof. Oh, King of Fighters. You're such a delightful franchise. But yes, the thing I was most excited about, tragically, uh, this game, this Anstream Arcade does not have a uh, Nightmare Factory uh, Chiller, one of the most horrifically awful video games ever made. I, I wish it did just so I could, you know, prove to people that it existed. Oh. Yeah, he just brutalized me. But I did fine. Alright, how did I do? The high score was 4,000 and I got 24,000. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm doing fine. Yeah, I think I'm, think I'm doing okay. Oh, and I got a silver medal. Nice. All right. So, in addition to Giant Slayer, each game has a set of challenges. All right. So, uh, this is an exact. This is just generic. A bunch of them. But you can also just go to any game with the challenge symbol on it and peruse its challenge. So, for example, I'm obsessed with a little game called. Uh, okay, uh, what's it called? Um, Rolling Thunder. So what you do is you go up to the search menu, you type in Rolling Thunder. There we go. Rolling will be enough to get me there. Now, the Rolling Thunder is famous enough that it should have challenges. But they don't announce which games have challenges, which makes me a little sad. Oh, whoops. Okay, we need to find out what the hell. How is this the official art of a game? Thank you. 
Kissy. Why is the alien mad? Why is there a semi-naked woman holding a submachine gun in the artwork? Neither of these questions will be answered in the scrolling shoot em up from Data East. Yeah, no, I need to know more about Mad Alien. Uh, 1300 games, because they stream. So this is a game called Rolling Thunder. I so feel like when do is, we've had this conversation about this very game before. So what you do is, where are the cha so you go up to this bar and you go challenges. And then you can say, uh, you can either play the basic challenge or you can pay gems to unlock the harder challenge. So uh, score as many points as you can with one life. So I'm going to do that. Oh, you can also challenge a friend and the two of you compete each paying 10 to do that or you can do play the giant start the giant lit slayer thing which is what i was doing so i can become one of the giants in that giant slayer thing whenever i want and then other people would pay to challenge me and hopefully win or i would win so there's a slight problem with this game it's not a big problem uh but when you start any maybe it's just challenges there is like a moment of the game not responding to your inputs and that's an issue hey joanna we're doing great are we doing great oh, oh. that was embarrassing great. i'm gonna i'm gonna do that better don't worry so, as you'll see, I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to retry the challenge. So, two, one, start. As you can see, I'm hitting the shoot button over and over. And it took me a moment to really get into it. Oh, right. I keep forgetting that they damage you just by touching you. And that's right. This is a game about fighting the alien clan. So, they're the... They're aliens, but they're also the clan. So, obviously, it is a resolutely positive thing to play them. Uh, I was a big fan of this in my childhood for a single reason. Uh, Unabridged, tell me if uh, this is worth making a video about. Just the best animations in the world. I want you to watch this animation, okay, woman? Yep. You're not watching. No, because I'm doing a timed thing. Well, tell second. me when you're done, weirdo. I feel like he, yes, I've, I've Wait, seen Wait, you can't pause before. your game? Oh, fine, I'll pause. All right. Watch what happens when I jump to that railing. Oh, yeah, that was cool. Like, you, you have to understand how transformational the inclusion of that animation was when, like, all other games were just Mario. Also, you could get a submachine gun in this, which is just delightful. Like, that animation... That extra animation that didn't have to be in the game that they put in there just to delight me specifically, it's it's a masterpiece. Yeah, there's a delay when, the, for, when you start the challenge. It's very strange. Like that little... Flipping the legs over the thing. That is everything. Hmm. Also, the way the guys die after getting shot is super satisfying. The little fall back and flop to the ground with their arms up in the air. Come on. And they have a different going over the railing animation. But it's like, if someone were to say, just as an example, he walks like the kid. I love that he has bell bottoms, by the way. Gray pants, bell bottoms, red shoes. This rolling, uh, this rolling thunder dude is a fashion icon. Red turtleneck, red shoes, gray bell bottoms, gun holster. Okay.
Oh, I was just saying, if uh, someone were to make a video about the greatest animations in the history of video games, this would definitely belong on that list. Both the heroes and the villains have separate leaping over the railing animation. No! Oh, they're so good at jumping out of doors when I least expect it. Are you guys done with the door nonsense? Oh, you weren't. Whoa, that was close. Oh, there was... <laughs> Fun fact, you can't jump... I forgot this. You can't jump down when there's no railing. That's how important the railing animation is. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed that I forgot that. I completely agree with that. And the crazy part is, this game is like from 1986 or something like that. Like, it's a very old game. Because you look, so we were playing that new Contra game earlier in the stream. And you look at the original Contra, like, yeah, really big. In many cases, interestingly detailed sprites and bosses. This one, by comparison, does not have gorgeously detailed sprites. Although I will say, the work on that uh, that ceiling fan is surprise like of them simulating refle light reflecting on the ceiling fan is a weirdly large amount of detail to put into the game. <laughs> but anyway, uh, my point is, uh, Contra may have had nice big sprites. Right, with some interesting color and detail work on them. It didn't have good animation. And this game, I remember... I remember the details of this game better than I remember Contra solely because of the fantastic animation this game has. That enemies have a different animation for if you shoot them high than if you shoot them low. Oh, no, wait. It's just random which one they do. I thought it was related to... Oh, no! Grenade! Alright, let's so, do this. There are modern zombie games where you complain everybody does the exact same, same animation. Same animation, exactly. Yeah. The very fact alone that they have multiple animation types. Oh, Treyarch Spider-Man. Also, sometimes they make weird barking sounds when I kill them and that's very strange what? that's actually not far off <laughs> like I can't even be critical like that's really close oh no I'm out of Tommy gun ammo it's not actually a Tommy gun I just like saying that god I wonder if this thing has cabal or G.I. Joe probably not G.I. Joe but maybe cabal Oh god, what was the uh, fake western cabal-like? No, obviously not. Okay. I'm not insane. Okay, this is a problem, because you can't shoot while jumping. Whoa! Dude, not cool. I'm running out of bullets, is the thing here. Can we complete this level so I don't have to face up to the fact that I... What is he doing? Oh, you can still do the high jump even if there's nothing to jump to. Oh my god, I did it. That was close. It's a lady running away from the clan. And then the clan's overlord saying, go get them. And the guy's saluting the clan in a very Nazi kind of salute, honestly. Whoa, that was close. Excellent grenade work, my good sir. What the? Oh, you can't jump up there. You have to jump to the lower one. Okay, well, that one's on me, everybody. It's just a good game. So in order to get silver, I need, uh, need 30,000 points, which is also the high score from the thing. And so if I wanted to unlock the next one, 
It would be with one life, kill as many. I have to pay the 40. Now, the question is, do the ones I pay for, right, get me uh, more points? Like, get me more gems? Because otherwise, why am I paying for them? Just to challenge yourself? Yeah, okay, that actually makes sense. Also, yes, you can buy gems. I'm not saying these guys are like the paragons of fair marketing. Like, you have to pay $30 for a year of access to this thing. Or $80 for lifetime access to this, which is, you know, eh, not terrible. But, like, you played this before. Yeah, right? no, I played it when it was in beta on PC. Yeah. And now it's finally out on consoles. That's why I'm showing it off. I think just Xbox now? I don't think it's on pl uh, s uh, PlayStation? Uh-oh. Alright, so I've killed 26 dudes. I have to kill 50 to get the first level. Alright. Sorry, pal. Oh my god! He started to throw a grenade and I shot him, so he dropped the grenade! Yay. Is this the first... I, I don't think it would have hurt anybody, but... Is this the first game where that can happen? That's a pretty common thing in games these days. Is this the first time that happened in a video game? And then it would not happen for another 20 years? Well, I wouldn't say 20 years. Goldeneye was out in, like, 96. Okay, I was actually trying to think if that happened to Goldeneye. Uh, this predates Foot Soldiers from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Or that at least they were contemporaries that don't really resemble these ones that much. I think it would be an exaggeration to say this likely was a ripoff of the Teenage Mutant Ninja MTs. Sorry, bro. Whoa, that was close. You okay, woman? She's very cold, everybody, so she's making very cold sounds. The sounds that people make when they are freezing. My kingdom for the ability to shoot while jumping. Well, I think you're, you know, a while off that happened. Oh, no, wait, you're not a while off that happened. Oh, God, no, no, no. It just didn't happen in this game. Exactly. Old as the hills, are you kidding me? I played this in arcades. Seventy-four dudes. Is that enough for Silver That's Silvermouth? okay. Horror King is also old. Whoa. Just not quite as old as the hills. Like a certain someone. What? 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 No! You're not sneaking up on me, jerktopus. No! Oh, he almost did his kung fu attack on me. Oh, dude disappeared. Disappointing. Not disappointing? I just got a machine gun. To use the vernacular, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> And here's some regular bullets, too. Oh, I don't have much time left. I don't know that I've ever beaten this game. Oh. Which is too bad, because it's really awesome. No! I finally got hit! Come on, I need one more kill to get to 100. Help me out here, guys. Be a pal. Jump in there. Let me murder you. Oh, I have to go up? I have to climb a pile of boxes? This is cool. Which way do I have to go? This way? Oh, no! No! Gah! Oh, my God. I can't believe I didn't die. Yay, you for not dying. I know, right? Boom! Now I'm jumping down a bunch of railings in this industrial zone? 
This is very creative level design. Okay, he might be able to punch me from there. There we go. Oof. There you go. Careful. Yes. No! Ran out of time. Hey, I didn't die. I actually ran out of time. That's good. Yay, you. Oh, I was 11 dudes away from a uh, gold medal. Well, it doesn't matter. Yes, I definitely got more uh, medal points for doing a harder challenge. Because without even getting to gold, I got 45, which means I've reimbursed myself for everything I spent unlocking that. So that's good. But anyway, here's the game I'm really excited about. So let's see, where are my favorites? I've been selecting favorites. Duels one lost games played. 14 out of... 1,293. Wow. Nice. Alright. Got it. Change avatar. This is tough. A lot of decent avatars here. Wait, is Pac Man on here? Of course. Oh. I'm hoping to see Rastan. Oh my god, is Rastan on here? We're going to look for Rastan in a second, everybody. Uh, Combat Tribes. There you go. Dude from Combat Tribes. Done. Uh, okay, Rastan. If y'all don't know about Rastan, I don't know what to tell you. Keep trying to correct me. I know about Rastan. Oh, yes. All right, so I'm just going to quickly crank up the volume for everybody. You'll see why in a second. Um, you're not going to be able to hear me, but that doesn't matter because you're going to be able to hear the theme from Rastan, which is, I'm not saying it's the best video game arcade theme ever. Might be. All right. I'm just going to be quiet and while you enjoy the theme from Rastan. wanted to get to the part where the beat dropped and then it did uh but anyway so this is rastan and if it looks familiar to you 
That is because popular game Volgar the Viking uh, from about eight years ago was just Rastan. Like, it was not subtle that the dude was just remaking Rastan. Uh, he even has Rastan's body in the game. All right, so where are my stuff? favorites? There we go. Okay, so here's the game I was most excited for. It's not Persian Gulf Inferno, though that's high on the list. We'll talk about that later. So here is uh, Growl, which we're not playing today, but we'll play some other time, which is, and this is true, you play as Indiana Jones saving poached tigers from a bunch of, as you can see, thuggy cultists. It is explicitly a fake Indiana Jones game, and it's a delight. So, this is the game I was excited about. It's called Night Slashers, and it is a... Uh, it is a Capcom-style side-scrolling beat-em-up from Data East about fighting Dracula. It has been three months since that fateful day came to pass. The world overrun by monsters, mutants, and the walking dead has become all but unfit for human habitation. Armies overrun, survival supplies running low. The few remaining humans have almost run out of hope. I need a new version of this game, by the way. It's 35 years old. We need Night Slashers too. Look at this. Look at these guys. Are you okay? Yeah, with these robot arms. I know. Teaching you how to play the game. Jake, American Monster Hunter. His natural arms have been placed by cybernetic mechanisms. I missed the rest of that. We have a Taekwondo guy. Europe's most famous vampire hunter. He uses a mixture of both Western and Eastern martial arts. Possesses uncanny fighting skills. Hurry up! The zombies are getting closer! We'd better get out of here. These guys must be stopped! One of the best instructional screens anywhere? Maybe. Asia's most revealed martial artist. What she lacks in size, she makes up for in speed and skill. Her Okay, well, that was on screen too fast. It's safe in here. Leave the rest to us. Who are you? Us. I'll tell you who we are. The Night Slashers. Good choice. Destroy all zombies and mutants in the hospital. This is a real game. You're adorable. I can't stress enough that this is a real game. Y'all, he's adorable. I just ran over a bunch of zombies and mutants with a van. Now I'm going to use my kung fu to just wreck everybody. Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one that makes cold noises. Sorry, I had my hands full, so I wasn't really paying attention. The zombies, the spitting zombies, have to spit because they don't have arms. This is weirdly disgusting. That's your super move, you have to charge it up. Yeah, it is a pointedly disgusting game. Like, not the bad. Okay, a little bit bad. Oh my god, there's so many zombies on these elevators! Oh, I love it. Such big cat energy. Boom! It's weird, the tutorial didn't mention how to do awesome throws like that. Well, as I recall, tutorials never show you how to do. Boom! If you were lucky, the manual But often you just have to figure them out. Tell me. Yes, I'm being attacked by a Jason. I can't stress 
enough that like a bunch of body bags just came rolling off a shelf and then zombies crawled out of them to attack me. This is a real game for my friends. What would you like to be turned into a zombie? A mutant? That's right, I'm fighting mad scientist. We are, as the kids say, living the dream. That is strange. You're right on the bridge. Oh, uh... That guy just threw me a health potion. And he's the villain. This game is weird. Uh, their devs love zombies, but, uh, but Japanese people tend not to love zombie games. It's very strange. Boom. That's called a DDT. You're welcome. Oh, God! All of the skin melted off his zomb- his bones. Leaving a skeleton and now I have to fight his zombie Frankenstein. How pleasant. Time for a party. Ready when you are, freak. Oh my god, his whole thing is doing wrestling moves. This is fantastic. You me on guard. He's a wrestling themed Frankenstein. This is the best ra randomly wrestling themed dude since uh, Jack comes back in End of Zoe in Resident Evil uh, Biohazard. When in End of Zoe, uh, Jack returns from the dead. And now he's WWE themed. Well, you say that, Horror King, but as Dr. Uh, Victor Frankenstein's child, uh, that creature has every right to be called Frankenstein. I didn't say he was Dr. Frankenstein, I said he was Frankenstein. This is a hill he's willing to die on. Well, no, I'm objectively correct based on how language and fam familial names are. This isn't up for debate. I'm correct. Like, so the thing y'all need to know what? about the here is he loves correcting people. I do? But he also really loves correcting... Oh my god, it's a teen wolf! ...who want to correct people. It was a teen wolf! The game features a teen wolf. Bateman or Fox? Obviously, thanks. Oh my god. Thank you, Team Wolf, for embiggening us all. You know, the guy who created uh, the TV show Criminal Minds but never worked on it uh, would then go on to be the showrunner and adapter of the Team Wolf TV show. Yes, it leads to this hilarious thing that I found out about it. So, uh, Dan Harmon's best friend and partner on his uh, Harmontown podcast is a man named Jeff Davis. Uh, and because you're in the union, right, in the acting union, you can't have two people with the same name. So he goes by Jeff Davis. But of course, in the writer's union, it doesn't matter which one. They don't have, I mean, you can't be the same as another writer. You can name the same as another actor if they're not also in the writer's room. And so the guy who created Criminal Minds and runs Team Wolf is also named Jeff Davis. And so this Jeff Davis, Dan Harmon's friend, was travels the world as part of the road show of Whose Line Is It Anyway? Because he was on American Who's Line Is Anyway for years. Okay, I know exactly who you're talking about. Yes. That's who I was picturing. I kept saying his name. Yeah. We're literally fighting Geppetto and Pinocchio. This game is incredible. Uh, but the story he tells is that everywhere in the world he goes, everybody, like, everybody wants to ask him questions 
about Criminal Minds and Teen Wolf because they assume he's the same Jeff Davis. I know, isn't that sad? Like, okay, no, yeah, the, the improv stuff is great. Tell us more about Teen Wolf. Why aren't you here giving a speech about Teen Wolf? No. Yeah, oh, it's a very popular show. As is Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds is one of the most popular shows, actually. That's all I ever think. And it's a show no one talks about, except you. Except for me. Oh my god, I am fighting Japan. Geppetto and Pinocchio. Oh, that was amazing! That's... Oh, wow, this game is crazy. Oh no, I'm being vampire bitten! The worst kind of thing. Oh. I thought you were going to tell the Michael J. Fox story about the Tolkien. Michael Boatman. Michael Boatman. That's a good story, too. It's one of my favorite stories. Yeah. That, uh... They were in New York because the show Spin City was shot in New York, so they were doing press for the show Spin City. And just driving around, uh, going to various places, and meeting people, and you know, being pro Spin City. They said to Michael Boatman, "Look, uh, once we get you know north of wherever Harlem starts, like north of 50th Street, everyone's gonna call me Teen Wolf." And he's like, "What? Like all black people only know me as Teen Wolf? <laughs> black people?" You know, they don't know me as Marty McFly, they don't know me as Alex B. Keaton, they all know me as Teen Wolf. And just as Michael J. Fox had predicted, every single person they saw in the black part of town yelled out, Hey, Teen Wolf. Oh, it was beautiful. Like, I just I love the way he tells the story, too. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful because story. Because he, lo he loves it. He's like, oh, yeah. oh, God, there's, there's a thing, and I don't fully understand it, but... Yeah, but the black community loved Teen Wolf. And they didn't love Back to the Future. Or Family Ties. They loved oh, Teen Wolf. I love Family Ties. But... Come on, let's be honest. Here. Oof. Boom. literally a golem made out of tombstones. And I turned him into rubble. This is fantastic. Bonus game, nice. Drug zombie! Hungry zer uh, burgers. Voodoo shop. The bonus level is kicking the heads off of zombies who are buried up to their chat torso in the sand. <laughs> oh, what is it with this game? being watched by zombies. Wow. This is Castle. Stage three, start. All right, we're gonna stop. Yeah, uh, the point is this game is magnificent and everyone should be talking about the game Night Slashers all the time. There are challenges in Night Slashers? If you help Christopher the Vampire Hunter take out as many members of the Underworld Army and obtain a score with one life. Don't mind if I do. Alright. Gesundheit. Thank you! I'm really sorry. Ouch, I, I totally bit you, my tongue. I forgive you, but also I don't believe that you're sorry. I really wasn't sorry, so you're right. I was 100%. I knew it was going on. I didn't believe for a second that you're sorry. You have no regrets? No regrets. I didn't say you should. You caught me on guard. Alright. Oh no! I used my power attack, which takes. I actually didn't use any of my health. That was weird. I thought it was going to. One thing that Final Fight has in this game is that uh, it doesn't have health bars for enemies. Except the, uh, except the bosses, which had to be a problem. Oh! So every 
games, every level seems to have a mini boss and a full boss. The first one was some sort of Herbert West reanimator, followed by Frankenstein. The second one was a uh, team up of Geppetto and Pinocchio, followed by a gold one. What I'm saying is this game is almost cartoonishly awesome. Alright, let's set those guys on fire. And get another diamond. I'm trying to get the high score thing in my first attempt. I may not. No! They got me! Oh. So close. It just doesn't want to die. Oh, there it goes. A hot dog? Don't mind if I do. Oh my god, I love this guy. Whoa, he knocked me out of the air. That is not cool. Boom! Oh! No! That was 2,000 points short. Oh. So we're going to call it a day, except to say that Ant's stream is off to a great start. As you can see, I'm very happy with it because it has given me back Night Slashers, a game I played once in my youth and have been thinking about ever since. So there you go. Uh, elevator action. Do they have elevator action? I mean, and they got a bunch of Taito games, so I'm sure they do. Elevator action returns. Oh, wow. Elevator action returns. I remember that being amazing. <laughs> Later and abridged. Bonsoir to Le Monde. Oh, my God. Elevator action returns. Oh, thank you, Ken. The sneezes are strong with me. Jump and shoot. Cart Bradfield, Eddie Burrett. I didn't even see the third guy's name. Mission one, red after image. Push start button. I love that you were like, I'm done. I am no, done. wait, I'm not. Oh my this god. Is really game I love, but I have to play. This is what happened with this uh, this thing last time we demoed. It's fantastic. Talk about a fantastic modernization. Look no further than elevator action returns. Oh, wow. Also, um, the jump is 100% a reference to... Uh... Oh, my God! That dude was on fire! No, you're on fire. You're getting very weird. Yep. That's right, I can ride the top of an elevator down. I don't mind. Crush the old order, create a new society. I gotta say, kind of on the side of this graffiti. That's right, the building exploded. <laughs> their way of saying, hey man, this ain't your old-fashioned elevator action. Do you know what I want? I can't possibly know what you want. I want someone to unironically just start making like movies based on video games no! from these video games that everyone has forgotten. That would be delightful. And everyone knows it. Hey, food! I'm trying to go indoor. Here we 
is weirdly brutal. I just sent a guy, I killed a guy, and he went screaming down an elevator shaft. Alright, so, uh, this is me wrapping up the game. It's awesome. Yeah, they really do have a couple of my favorites. Treat the bomb set in the air terminal. They mean disarm. Code number, Rook 78 G93. Okay. Uh, I'm wrapping up the stream here. Thanks for dropping by. We're going to see you back here this weekend on Saturn's Day for more games. But until then, I'll say that's right. Au revoir. Au revoir.